hello, 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 everybody! How you guys doing? Welcome, welcome back to my channel. So, I've been thinking about making videos talking about Genshin and how party compositions work and how they are made since, well, I see a lot of videos explaining on what our characters are good for and what parties the what parties are good for, but they're never really explained why. So, I figured I it would be a great topic to approach. But in order to do this, I need to explain the game's current systems and how they work in the first place. Starting with Teyvat 7 Elements. Now, I know there's been a lot of channels that approach this, and some of this is... A lot of this, actually, is really old news. But I figured it would be nice to have this all, informa all this information in one coherent place. So, here we go, starting with Animo. Animo is the element of wind in Genshin. Characters who use this element typically have some sort of grouping, mob manipulation, as the element focuses primarily around crowd control, either pushing or pulling at all targets into a general location. No one embodies this better than its Archon, Venti, who has a large vortex that pulls tar all targets inside, uh, and dealing damage to all targets sucked in. Or you can send a poor defenseless hill troll off a ledge down towards their impending doom. In Genshin, there are things known as reactions. A reaction is what happens when two or more elements come in contact with each other. See, Genshin doesn't really have elemental weaknesses. More so, you can combo elements to create different effects. In the case of Animo, it's called Swirl. Swirl happens when Animo comes in contact with either Pyro, Electro, Hydro, or Cryo. I'm starting with Swirl because of all the reactions, Swirl is probably the most powerful reaction and probably the easiest to understand. Let me explain. See, when Swirl comes into contact with one of the uh, aforementioned elements, it will absorb the, af the targeted element into itself and spread it to nearby enemies within a 6 meter radius. Uh, basically doubling the effects as well as dealing damage to the affected targets. The damage dealt by Swirl scales on the Elemental Mastery set and the user's level. Due to this, it is very efficient to have animal units leveled relatively high to increase the damage dealt by Swirls. I am going to warn all new players. Do not try to level characters to 90 right away. It takes a lot of resources, and when you're starting out, it's more efficient to ascend your characters to 90, but stop leveling them at 80. You have been warned. Swirl damage is also fixed damage, meaning, as stated before, only the character's level and elemental mastery matter, while additional damage gained from the elemental absorption is affected by the stats that normally affect damage, basically attack, crit, and talents. You can see when an element is infused when the animal unit's attack changes color to the color of the absorbed element. Animal units, especially supportive ones, are usually very strong and sought after due to their grouping capabilities and the ability to infuse elements along with being able to use the oh-so-broken Viridus and Venera set, which offers a 15% animal damage bonus, 60% increased damage to swirls, and a hallelujah 40% resistance increase to the elements absorbed by swirl, which needless to say makes animal units amazing support units. Either way, Animo is rather easy to understand compared to other elements. It's very flexible, making them a great choice for almost every team comp. That said, who's your favorite animal unit and why? Uh, post, your com post your answer in the comments below. I will be posting one of these videos every week, so I hope to see you next week. Thank you very much for watching, and if you haven't yet, subscribe for more content like this. And I'll see you guys around. Bye.